Okay, on the Testo 557S, I'm going to restart that test again with the high pressure nitrogen decay because it failed before and it actually lost all the pressure on the low side and it kept all the pressure on the high side with no problem. So I'm going to hope that it was the hose here, which you can see I disconnected and I sealed it off with the cap. I have silicone grease in the cap. I got the cap really nice and tight. So we're going to hope for the best that it was only the hose that was giving the problem. Ah, oh, my phone is having a problem focusing. So let's uh, connect up the nitrogen. And we're at zero. Let's turn on the nitrogen. Four hundred and sixty seven. So I'll let that four hundred and sixty seven stabilize and uh, I'll just hold it off right there. Let's uh oh let's go into the right um measuring app and let's go down to pressure leak test. Let's pick pressure leak test. 470. 473. We'll hold it right there and I will turn off the, so that is, oops, yeah. That is open. That is open. They're both open. And I'm going to shut the nitrogen off. Okay, the nitrogen is off. And we're going to call this test right here. We're going to start, hit start. And tomorrow I'll come back and we're going to hope for the best that that stays. Now if it doesn't stay and it leaks down then I'll probably be looking for a leak right up where this brass mounts to the Ludelman chassis. That's my first suspect for a leak. And uh, I'm hoping that's not the problem. I'm hoping it was just the hose that was leaking and not the brand new gauge. So we'll find this out tomorrow. See ya.